Welcome to the paint with me video. Um, I'm just sitting next to my self portrait right now. Um, this is not what I'm going to be working on um, because as you can see it's like basically done. Um, I'm bringing you a little bit closer. I just got this easel off Amazon because well quick story time, very quick story time before I get started. Um, I've started doing it again. I do painting if you didn't know. Uh, and we're not allowed to go into uni to do a physical painting course. So that means we need to work from home and I don't have a lot of space. So my studio space right now is um, my living room. So yeah, um, I was working on this. I'll give you a little close up. Obviously it's a self portrait when I had red hair. So um, quite gory, quite ugly. Just how I like it. And what I'm going to be working on today is another self portrait. Um, but this time, how I look right now, which is this. Um, I'm basically just gonna, it's gonna be a lot of uh, time lapse of me painting. If you want to start painting, I recommend doing self portraits first, perhaps. Um, just because you know your face the best out of anyone's. You know, you know every nook and cranny of your own face. So it's a lot easier to paint yourself. That's why I'm just like, I haven't painted in a long time, I can't lie. Just, you know, depression vibes, lack of inspiration, that, that whole shebang. Um, I'm going to prime my canvas. It's not a canvas actually, it's just a board. I prefer boards, canvases, I'm not sure why. Oh, that's so much. So I'm gonna be using this. Quite small, but I can't really work big right now due to my lack of Face. You should really use gesso when priming a canvas, um, but you can use white acrylic paint, which is I'm going to, which is what I'm going to do because I do not have gesso with me. Okay, that's the canvas primed now. I'm gonna let that dry. You should technically do like three coats of this. And I also recommend you get gesso because if you use white acrylic paint, it's like, you're just gonna waste your money, essentially. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're in a tight spot, just use acrylic paint. Uh, hey guys, it's the next day. As I said, it was probably gonna be the next day because I decided to not do anything last night. But I'm back and I'm actually gonna paint today. Um, so I've just been editing a selfie of mine to get ready for paint and I'll just, I'll put it right here. Um, basically, I just like enhanced all the colors. I made my skin paler, I made my lips redder and my eyes redder and lightened my eyes a lot. Um, as well as that, I kind of sharpened my face, as in like, used the sharpener effect, I didn't sharpen, sharpen my face. And kind of up the saturation a little bit, and you know, mess around with contrast and stuff, and like, enhance some of the lines just so it's easier to draw. Um, but for now, I'm gonna, just going to nip to test, go and get some lunch. And then I'll be back with the um, drawing process of it all. So yeah. Um, okay, I finally got food, um, so I'm just going to sketch the um, general outline. You know, it doesn't need to be perfect when I'm doing this because uh, you do a lot of the, or well, it depends on how you paint, but you know, you can obviously change anything you got wrong in the sketch with the oil pen, that's what's so good about it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to sketch my face now. Um, also, a little tap. Not that I'm a professional or anything, but what I found like a couple of years ago, I would do paintings like on a desk like this. So I would have a desk and a paint like this, which is good when you have a canvas like this. But if you've got a long canvas um, or a long board, um, make sure you draw like this, draw the outline, because I know, like I would always end up with a very elongated face by accident. Unless you want to create a more like caricature kind of thing and you want a long face, then it's different. But 
Okay, time to time lapse this little sketch. Again, this really doesn't need to be perfect at all. Um, just a rough outline of what I want from it, so yeah. Okay, so that took me about 10 minutes just to do a rough sketch. And um, this is what I've came up with. Metal focus. Um, obviously it doesn't really look like me. <laughs> um, but um, it's fine because obviously you can change stuff using oil paint. Something that also helps is if you look at it, like me just looking at it right now, reversed in the viewfinder, you can see things that you've done wrong. Um, see things that don't quite look right um, and one thing as well that might help you um, if you feel like your painting's off in my personal experience it's usually you've made the nose too long um, so just keep that in mind if you're like why is this not looking right I think the, like, it could be the nose is too long because that's what I, I was just staring at that for like a minute and I was like oh it's the nose it's always the nose sorry camera just died um, I can't remember what I was saying Oh yeah, um, you don't need expensive oil paints in my opinion to make good art. Um, these are fine. Georgian oil colour. That is one of the cheaper brands I believe. Maybe not. Um, but like a... Uh, for 10 of these it cost me £30 I think. So it's a little bit of an investment. But they do last a bloody long time so it's not that bad. Something I enjoy and not a lot of artists do, I don't think, um, depends how thick you're painting. I don't paint that thick, so I like liquid. Um, speed drying, it like speeds up the drying process, but also it can thin out the paint. Depends what finish you want. Um, I like using, sorry the lighting so bad. I like using flat brushes, um, brushes that look like this, or square, but usually flat and I like using brushes like that, sorry it looks a bit gross right now, but it's a blending brush. So it's like kind of fluffy, it looks like an eyeshadow brush and it helps to blend. Okay, you get the idea, I should shut up now. Okay, I'm going to do a little voiceover, obviously, because everything's time-lapsed, I can't exactly talk <laughs> during it. But, um, obviously in this first, or these couple clips, um, things aren't really going my way by the looks of things. Also, apologies for the amount of times my huge head just goes into frame for like one minute. Apologies for that, but, um, yeah, you can kind of see I started out with like the wrong skin tone, it wasn't really working. I kept wiping stuff out. And that's just because the face wasn't looking right and then I was struggling to change it, essentially. But yeah, um, you'll see me later on, like, basically rub it all out and start again. So yeah, you know, look out for that. I've kind of got some good things going though. Like, I'm just putting the basic colours in in like a kind of blocky way. So I can blend them in later, but as you can see, the skin tone's a bit too peachy for, you know, the photo. The skin in the photo's more like grey and washed out, but... Yeah, we're struggling here. <laughs> anyway, I'll carry on.
Um, so here you can kind of see me redraw the face because it, it was too, like it just didn't look like me and I had to redraw it. And I was making it worse by painting over it essentially. Um, so yeah, you can see me like frantically trying to redraw my face and like it, it was genuinely driving me insane. Like I, I usually don't struggle this much to draw generally, but I think the pressure of me filming it as well was making it so tricky for me. <laughs>
So this is the finished result. Obviously it looks quite unfinished, it's because it is. I was just getting bored of this painting and was pretty much over it at this point. So, you know, I'm not going in to make the hair better, I'm not going in to make, you know, my clothes look more realistic. I was just, at this point, keeping it as it is because I'm happy enough with it. The teeth are a bit dodgy as well, but I got all I could out of this painting, like mentally and creatively, and I was like, I'm done now. I enjoyed the painting, but I'm done. <laughs> but yeah, this is the finished result. It could obviously look a lot better if I'd put more effort into it. But um, yeah, pretty much over it. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry for like the amount of voiceovers I had to do, but yeah, if you want any more painting videos, just let me know. I really like doing this, actually. But yeah, um, bye guys, I'll, I'll see you soon. Sorry for like the chaotic video, but yeah, bye. Love you guys, bye.